The Trump Organization, the company still owned by the president and operated by his two eldest sons, are beginning to take their toll. The company is attempting a Hail Mary pass to prevent the now Democrat-led House Judiciary Committee from conducting any and all investigations into its operations and deals, the Washington Post reported today. A lawyer for the Trump Organization, Alan S. Futurfas, sent a letter today to House Judiciary Committee Chairman Gerald Nadler, D. New York, claiming that the committee's investigation has been tainted because it had hired an outside attorney who once worked for a firm that did legal work for the company. The outside attorney in question, Barry H. Burke of the law firm of Kramer Levin, was hired two weeks ago and described as a nationally prominent expert on federal criminal law, including public corruption. It's little wonder that the Trump Organization would object to having such an experienced hand on deck in the investigation into the shady dealings that have leaked out in multiple indictments and press reports, particularly after both Michael Cohen, the president's longtime personal fixer, and Alan Weisselberg, the company's CFO, have agreed to cooperate with prosecutors. Burke's firm, Kramer Levin, dismissed the Trump Organization attorney's accusations as baseless, saying that his consultation for the Judiciary Committee complies fully with all applicable ethical rules, does not pose any conflicts of interest, and respects any obligations the firm may have. The law firm said that Burke was consulting with the Judiciary Committee in a personal capacity rather than as a partner in the firm and that the company would therefore not receive any money as a result of his work nor provide any external support to his efforts with the committee.